Despite a government directive prohibiting evictions during the COVID-19 lockdown, illegal demolitions have become commonplace in South Africa. The Azania informal shack dweller settlement of Kato Manor in Durban was attacked by agents hired by the Ertakwini municipality authorities on April 2nd. 15 shacks were demolished, leaving several people homeless at a time when the country is under lockdown and people have been ordered to stay home. Many shack dwellers were also injured in the attack. A private security agency, Calvin Security, was used by the municipality for the demolitions on Thursday. The army and the police ordered to assist in the implementation of the lockdown were also involved in the illegal evictions. This is not the first eviction reported during the lockdown period. The South African government had ordered a moratorium on evictions during the lockdown under enormous pressure from social justice organizations and the country's largest shack dwellers movement, Abashlali Basem Jundolo, or the ABM. This moratorium was first mentioned by Justice Minister Ronald Lamola in his address ahead of the lockdown. It was then reiterated in the written directive issued by the ministry under the Disaster Management Act on March 26, a day before the lockdown began. However, the next afternoon on March 27, four vehicles of Calvin security attacked the Ekupu Muledi settlement in Durban. Acting at the behest of the Ertakwani municipality authorities, the private security guards demolished eight shacks built by members of the ABM with no support from the government. Another 17 shacks were marked ABM for further demolitions. Representing ABM, lawyers from Socio-Economic Rights Institute of South Africa wrote a letter to the municipality on March 28, demanding a written undertaking from them and Calvin Security, ensuring they will not evict our clients with or without an order of court, in line with directions issued by the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services. No court order was produced for the demolitions on Thursday making the exercise illegal even without the lockdown in place. However, in a brazen move, Calvin Security was sent by the municipality again the very next day, on March 29th, to demolish five more homes, arguing that these attacks on informal settlements are part of a broader and systematic assault by the ANC government against the South African working class in the interests of large capitalists, the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, or NUMSA, has called for class struggle. Yeah, cantar que vamos a triunfar